Hey Sagittarius, this is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good start to their week. I hope you're having a good start to the month of March. This is Sagittarius, your Dig Deeper Love reading for March 2019. Shuffle up the Oracle cards and go ahead and shuffle up the Tarot cards. So... This is a nine card spread, <clears throat> excuse me, where we do three for current or for recent past, three for current energy, and three cards for future energy, plus one card for overall, and three for guidance from the universe, and then the oracle cards that I was just shuffling up uh, will be one of those for guidance and encouragement. So let me do one more shuffle. making that too. <laughs> oh, Sagittarius, what you got going on? I'm going to shake it up. And a reminder, I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. We get these cut up so we can see what the heck's going on with Sagittarius for the month of March 2019. This is your Dig Deeper Love reading, so let's get started. First card is the Eight of Swords. Second card is the Nine of Wands. Last card for recent energy, recent past energy, Five of Coin. For your current energy, you've got the Five of Cups. Your centerpiece card is the Ten of Swords. Have mercy. And your third card for your current energy is the Queen of Coin. Damn, Sagittarius, what the hell? For the current energy, you've got the, for future energy, you've got the strength card, two of cups, and the world card. Wow. All right. Oh, and from the bottom of the deck, overall energy, Sagittarius, the fool. Okay. Well, let's see what the hoo ha and what the hoo ha. So. Coming out of your recent past, Sagittarius, this Eight of Swords, this air energy is only two air cards, but I'd be doggone, they, they worry me more than the other seven cards on the board. Um, Y'all yeah, are dealing with personal shit, and it's tangled up with your romantic. <clears throat> so the Eight of Swords is telling me that you guys are getting through a phase where You've been feeling insecure. You haven't been um, real sure-footed in which direction to go, particularly romantically. You don't. You have. You weren't sure, and um, the energy is kicking back. You still really aren't a hundred percent sure um, of what's going on. That uncertainty, that insecurity, is just caused. This is a recent past energy. It just caused your head to damn near just burn up. Um, and that wine energy, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of you told me you had headaches for the better part of last month. That it, that it worried you and it, whatever this is, worried you and bothered you to that point where you were just, it was taking its physical manifestation out on you. Um, with the five of coins, I'm not getting that you literally walked away from somebody, but I'm getting the energy that you are distancing yourself from someone who at this point in your life is just not fitting. So this could be a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, um, doesn't matter, you know, straight or gay, it doesn't matter. But I'm feeling like the feminine energy is like, I. I can't, I'm not getting with that line of reasoning. I'm not getting with that train of thought. And that brings you to your current energy. So your first card is the five of cups. And those two fives back to back is no mistake. Um, Y'all are just feeling stuck in the mud right now. You're just not, you, you have choices. That I feel in here loudly. You have choices. But 
it seems like either one or the other or both, you, it, neither is ringing all 25 bells for you. That's what I say, Sagittarius. They might be ringing five or six here and two or three there, but all of your bells are not ringing for either relationship. This talks about being stuck in the mud. That That's about it. That's about where you are. You're just stuck. You don't know which cup to pick. <laughs> and you just sit there and mess around with the cups that's turned over. You don't know. You, you, you have that energy. And it's a, it's not wishy-washy energy. It's um, for anybody that's ever stepped off a stair and you thought there was another stair, but actually what you hit was the landing. It's that feeling of not being 100% sure what's underneath your feet. Um, your centerpiece card, and we're still in current energy, being the Ten of Swords, y'all are just feeling it really kind of from every direction. It's not just romance, but it's those things that tie into romance also. Your finances, your lifestyle, the people you hang with, how you socialize, all of that that, that ties into your relationship at some point, and you are just feeling like just overwhelmed that that's the word that comes to mind overwhelmed and that it is sitting underneath the nine of wands where from recent past energy your head was just about to explode and right underneath that that ten of swords is telling me a lot of the shit that you're overwhelmed with particularly this being a sword card is mental it's mental Y'all are putting yourself through some stuff that's mental. And I get it. You're not sure of your relationship or whether or not you should hang in there. You're feeling insecure. Um, all in your head. Just all in your head. And then just the thought of walking, having to walk away. And so I know I'm talking to Sages that are in relationships that have run for a while so maybe a year two years three years up um these are relationships that have roots and not necessarily very easy to let go of but you are changing sag that's what the hell y'all are changing and and i can't tell you how i can see this but i see it on this board you all are changing and because you're changing let's talk about your overall energy being the fool card you guys have opened up to a point where you're not quite ready to do this in the middle of the Grand Canyon type thing on the tightrope, but you are certainly open to getting up there. Now, you might get up there, you might not want to walk the tightrope right now, but this is your energy. Y'all are kind of open to, you know, because you feel stuck. That's your current energy, stuck in the mud. So, you don't want, you know you're stuck, you don't want to feel like you're stuck, and you're thinking, you know, what, what, how can I open myself up? And there again, that comes with, from the recent past, that uncertain, let me just stay in here and close my eyes, I don't know what the hell. Sag, my dear Sag, with the queen of coins at the end of your current energy, you need to nurture yourself, not the whole damn family. You, Sagittarius, you need to nurture yourself. I have a mother, <laughs> uh, and actually she's my grandmother, but she raised me. Um, and four friends that are Sagittarius. And y'all will do everything but take care of yourself. I literally have had to drag my mother out just to dinner because she, you know, uh-uh, uh, -uh I, we're, we're doing that for her. I don't need to go out. We're, yeah, y'all need to nurture yourselves. You deserve it. There's no reason why you should, and damn it, if it's nothing but a cheap bottle of wine and a glass of wine while you're sitting in the tub. Come on now. You've got to nurture yourself. You're no good to anybody else if you don't take care of you. And this is how you should be trying to feel right now. I get the impression that some of you are trying to do this, but with all this uncertainty, belief systems walking away from 
what people are talking about, things that you've heard forever, and you're like, you know what, that just is not sounding good to me today. That requires energy. If you've been in your head, if you've had things on your, 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 over, your, your centerpiece card, you know, just overwhelmed with shit. Take a minute. Take a break. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. People that have some kind of problem with you nurturing yourself, even if that means taking yourself out to breakfast Saturday morning, however it resonates for you. Anybody having a problem with that, you need to examine why and what your relationship is with them because nobody should, and I'm saying it for a reason. I feel like some of you are hearing from your other or one of your others that, you know, what are you doing that for? How come you got to do You need to take care of yourself. Overall energy is about really staying open to the opportunity. And if you're not rested, if you're not feeling good about yourself, damn some opportunity to you will fall right off the rock. I'm just saying. For your future energy. Whatever decision you make, because there's a, de a decision here. I, I see it clearly. I just am not really picking up. There's so much energy. I'm not really picking up if it's you making a decision to stay in one relationship or if you're making a decision between two relationships. So it's going to resonate with some of you one way and with others the other way. You need the strength. And, and, and beyond even just the strength, you need to know you have the strength to make the decision. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you decide to go with A and not go with B, that's cool. Actually, if you decide to, to scrap both relationships, if that's where you are, and start over, that's cool. But find the courage and the strength to do what you need to do so that your romantic life can get on an even keel. Good things coming. Good things coming. And this is kind of telling me too, this might be whoever this other person is. Might have kids. I'm just saying. That's, that, that I hear. So, no... Some of you may be having some issues trying to reconcile in your head how at whatever stage you are in life, you're going to deal with somebody else's kids. It shouldn't be an obstacle. That's what I'll say. And that's what this card is telling me. It should not be an obstacle. It's also telling me that you have unlimited support. Now, you may not know that you have unlimited support, but you have it. It might be a sister, daughter, cousin, uncle, mama, daddy, whoever. But you've got some unlimited support. These, whoever this is, they're going to support you through whatever. Just know that. And it, the energy is resonating both ways. Some of you may be making a choice to get into a relationship with somebody that has children. And the universe is saying that's okay. Even if you don't feel like you're ready it's a learning experience. People with kids will tell you they do not come with instructions. It's a learning experience. A very, very small few of you, I'm going to say, might be getting pregnant in the future. That's how this is also resonating. So just know <laughs> if you're at that age and you are thinking about getting pregnant or if you're thinking about not getting pregnant, however it's resonating. But there's kids and babies in the future also you've got support for those of you that aren't embarking on anything that has anything to do with kids just know you've got support there's support there for you world card and, and for maybe the second or third time in, in as many days it's not about the universe had this is about choices this is about choices and just know whatever choice you make, like I said here, if you decide to go with A, B, or C, none of the above, it takes strength. But whatever choice you make, universe got you. Just that simple. You, there, there are no wrong answers in this one. 
it's going to be dependent on what you want out of a relationship, what you want to manifest for a relationship, and how much of any old belief systems that you have, you have walked away from. All of that said, don't forget your overall energy. It's about staying open. You might not necessarily be walking the tightrope right this minute, but y'all are damn sure on the rocks looking at it. Just saying. Let's see what the universe has for guidance for you, Sag. I'm kind of happy because this is kind of a decent reading, even though it's got some bullshit in it. It's, it's about you standing up in your truth and making a choice for yourself so that you're not feeling overwhelmed and you don't feel like you got shit coming from every direction. It's going to be about you making choices to minimize that and to stay open to any new opportunities that are coming. Let's see what the universe has. For guidance, Sagittarius, dig deeper love, reading March 2019. So the Eight of Cups, there it is, Hangman, yep. and the Nine of Coin. Relationships 101. Huh. So, universe is telling you keep moving forward. And get yourself on some firmer ground. This is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords. All that uncertainty and shit. Universe is telling you, keep moving forward. You will get to firmer ground. And you will get out of your head. And you will be able to completely walk away from things you no longer believe in. Universe is telling you, it's okay. Keep moving forward. Don't get stuck in the stupid shit. Just keep moving forward because eventually you're going to get to where you need to be and where you want to be. The hangman is coming back with his usual. Changing that damn perspective. Looking at things from a different point of view. Not getting complacent with some bullshit. Staying open. Major Arcana, both of them. Overall, guidance from the universe. Stay open. In order to do this, you, you're going to have to change. Damn it, you walking away from old belief systems. Work with me here. You're going to have to change that perspective totally. And that's got to include you taking care of yourself. And I feel like once you change your perspective, once you get a different look from a different angle about your life and what you're trying to manifest romantically, all the rest of this is going to be gravy. And that's exactly what that means. Change your perspective and start creating a higher standard. Because maybe if you are one of the ones that's making a choice between two people, what are your goals? What are your romantic goals? Just because you're in a relationship, you know, doesn't mean you're automatically going to be taking people. Those are things that take time. You're not automatically taking a trip to Jamaica or flying around the world or however this is resonating with you, but you got to start somewhere. What, what, what could you do to uplift your relationship? What can you do to take, if you decide that you don't want the person that you're with and you want to start dealing with a, a new person or you, you recently decided that, what are you doing differently? What are you doing differently? And how are you nurturing this relationship versus how you've nurtured other relationships? Because you don't want to keep going through the relationship cycle of, oh, I'm in love. And then, you know, two, a year or two later, you're like, what? what? And people don't really think about it because we get so caught up in our emotions. But relationships are a lot of work. And yeah, you need to love somebody and you need to have all the... the, the tweeters, bells, and whistles, as it were, but you've got to keep looking at your relationship. This is how people do not get stuck in a rut. You have to keep looking at it, keep refining it, just because you got married, just because you got engaged. There's no reason for you to get lazy. 
and be like, okay, we're here. We're done. No, no. You got to keep perfecting it. You got to keep spicing it up. You got to keep reaching higher so your relationship can grow the way that it's supposed to and not just be stagnant. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for you, Sag. Let's see what they got. Universe, this is for Sagittarius. Give us some encouragement. Give us some guidance. say cards don't lie people do all of that and the oracle cards are telling you to decide decide what you want to do Sag decide decide who it is that you think you want to spend your time with that you want to invest in you're not going to be able to make a good decision until you take care of yourself so that's where we are right now this is an excellent time to review beauty regimens, <laughs> workout regimens, because it's Mercury retrograde. Review, reassess, reevaluate, whatever. But decide. Get yourself to the point where you're rested, you ain't fell off, you ain't turned around and ran back to the rock, and you haven't just completely ran away from everything. When you get past all of this, decide. And that's what the Oracle cards are kicked out. I, you know, this ain't me. This is not me. Decisions are not big or small. They're just decisions. So make the best decision that you can for yourself. Stand up in your truth. Know what you want, but as well know what you don't want. And if you keep that stuff in mind, Sag, y'all are going to be great. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful end to your week and great start to the weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, y'all.